This video is to show you how to tag your photos quickly and efficiently in Darktable. I'm Nicholas and let's go. So we will spend the whole of this video in the light table trying to um, understand or find a method of how to tag photos quickly in Darktable. And now tagging is something I've always found very tedious, very painful to do. Um, when I look at my keywords, so in the tagging module on the right there, I find that I usually have far too many. Um, they, some of them look a little bit the same. Uh, some I feel like putting in a tree kind of with one inside the other and I find it complicated anyway. I don't know if you're like that. If you are, this video is for you. If you're very organized, then I'm sure you're doing better than me. So I'm sure you can pass. Um, this, uh, the idea behind this video is actually using a module called Quick Tags, um, which instead of actually tagging each photo with lots of keywords, the idea is just to tag each photo with one, at least start with one keyword, which will give me a category. And when in dark table you have categories, it means that uh, in a broad sense, then let's say I have a category landscape here, there are four in, then I actually right click on this and go to tag collection. And I have a collection of uh, photos that have been tagged with landscape, which I can then edit or give star ratings to, or whatever you want to do, export them. Anyway, it helps you to kind of sort things out a little bit, uh, especially if you have, uh, if you've emptied your card and you have lots of different shoots on the card, um, it helps to sort out the editing and do them in pieces. Um, so right click on landscape and go back to work. And here I have, so all my photos, all sorts of photos, because I'm not a professional photographer. So I have family photos, I have nature, I have all sorts of things. So how does this work? Let's first of all, go to the script manager. No, it was already open. Let's close that. So at the beginning on the left here, you have something at the bottom, which is called the script manager, which are made of Lua scripts. Lua being a programming language which can add functionalities to Darktable. I don't know more about it than that. Um, on page four of these scripts, normally they are installed automatically. Otherwise, I think there is a place here where you can install, update the scripts configure, I don't know what that is, uh, not much, start stop scripts and go to quick tag. And each time if I click on that, I've started quick tag. And if you look on the right here, there is a new module in the light table called quick tag, which is empty. I have five quick tags that I can enter. Um, let's have a look how that works. So basically a quick tag is a faster way to add a tag to a photo. So what would I do normally? This, these photos of my dog. So I would put that, let's say in the family category. Now I do have family here. So I could double click on that. Um, and maybe it was already on. I've been messing around with this. So your photos just imported, no tags anywhere. Let's just detach those tags. Architecture. Huh. Let's detach all those. Okay, so this is a family photo. Double click this family, go on the next one. Double click family, go on the next one. Let's say put YouTube for this one. Um, and you can double click on the tags you've already made to add them on. You can actually do shift and where was it? Shift, uh, control, sorry, scroll, control, scroll to make this list longer if you have more or control scroll the other way to make it smaller. That's a quick, uh, funny tip. Um, quick tag will do exactly that, but a little bit quicker if we set it up correctly. So let's get rid of that. And imagine that you've already thought about this. This is the difficult part. It's the thinking, it's the organizing. You've already thought that you have some categories. Now I wrote them down. My idea is to have a maximum of nine categories. So what do I have? Number one, architecture. Number two, photos for the club. Um, family photos, landscape, nature, street, YouTube. And for the moment, I've just put miscellaneous. 
So general categories, which I will assign each one to a quick tab. So um, in the quick tag module, if I put new tag architecture, you got the impression of typing in a password, which is really strange. But if I put set tag, it is architecture. If I go to number two, that will be club. Club, because I'm part of a photo club, wrong one. It moved down, sorry, architecture for one. And then number two, I don't want to do it. Number two, there were the arrows, club. Sorry about that. Number three now, number three will be for family. And the idea will uh, be to have kind of a, a post it on your screen with just those eight, seven, eight, nine categories on just for the quick tagging. So um, it'll go quicker because after we won't need this anymore. So in tagging uh, in quick tag now, if I'm on this photo and I just click once on architecture, it's a single click. And I go to the next photo club, next photo family. So the tag family has been attached. If you look at the first one architecture, the second one club and the third one family. So those tags have been added. Now it's not quicker. It's not quicker until you put a keyboard shortcut to them, which is what we'll do. We'll have keyboard shortcut one for architecture, two for club, three for family, and then tagging will be super fast. So let's set up in the settings here, shortcuts, and we'll look in the actions. We'll look for quick tag, quick tag here. I have one, two, three, four, five. So if I double click on quick tag and I'll press on the keyboard for one. Now I'm using the numerical keyboard, which is to the right of the standard keyboard and not the ones above um, above the, the, the letters. So I don't mess up the star rating. But these, as a matter of fact, are not used by dark tail. So two on the keyboard, three. I'll just do two, one, two, three for the moment. Those are set up. If you look at the script here, I see one for quick tag one, two for quick tag two, and three for quick tag three. And now when I import photos from a card, I can just go through them. Um, even maybe before I actually decide whether I'm rejecting, I'm going to use the arrow keys, that's all, and the keyboard. So left hand on the arrows, right hand on the uh, numerical keyboard, and I'll just go one, two, three, one, two. And I've already attached five keywords. Let's have a look here, tagging, architecture one, two for club, three for family, one for architecture, and two for club. Okay, so that was much faster. And all you need to do now is to assign the nine categories to the numbers one to nine. Decide what categories you want once and for all. And um, that's how it works. Now, I'll give you a quick tip of how to set that up a little bit quicker then going through what I've already done another time. So I've quit dark table and now I'm on the dark table manual just so we can see where the configuration files for dark table are. So on windows, you'll be at C uh, users, then you put in your username, app data, local, and the, um, in the dark table, uh, folder. If you're on Linux, then where did I find it here? You'll be in the dollar home direct, which is your own personal home directory in a hidden folder called dot config. So you'll need to uh, reveal the hidden folders to be able to access that one. I'm on a Mac, so I can show you directly. Here I am on my home folder called Nick, and I can show the hidden folders by command shift and then a full stop. And then they appear. And I have dot config here, dark table, and here I have all the configuration files for dark table. Now uh, it's probably not recommended to mess around in here, but there are a couple of things we can do because they are text files. In the shortcuts RC, I right click and open with a text edit. Then I can actually do uh, edit and find. And I'm going to look for quick tags. So I'll give it some quick for quick tags. Yeah, I'll make that a little bit bigger. 
And now I already have the shortcuts I made for the Lua Quick Tag is um, one on the keyboard. The second KP2 is Quick Tag um, and it's the keyboard shortcut three, KP3 shortcut three. So I'm going to do Command C. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're just pasting, copying, pasting four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And don't forget to change the name of the shortcut four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That gives me nine, which is why I stay at nine because um, I have the nine um, keys there reserved for the shortcuts. Even if with quick tags, you can have more than nine of them. So it's save that command s and quit and now go to the dark table rc open with text edit and these are where the actual tags were, are going to be entered so command f to search and what did we have we've already written club in so i should have it there and we have here quick tag one is architecture quick tag two is club then it's family and then maybe landscape and then we can put nature nature street youtube and what miscellaneous i've got miscellaneous for the moment um which gives me the opportunity to have a ninth one if one day i think of a ninth one command s quit that launch dark table and normally it should be set up for the nine let's have a look quick tag ah i know why because i only asked for five um two ways of doing that um in the lure options how many fields do i want please could i have nine quit that but then you have to start dark table again or the other i'm going to have to start dark table again anyway let's put this one back to five as it was quit dark table and i think it was in this one maybe you saw it and you thought why didn't he change it text edit go back to club and here the quick tag number from five changed to nine just above the list of the uh, keywords you want to enter Control s both methods work normally cross your fingers launch dark table and there i have the nine quick tags and normally the keyboard shortcuts are set up so i'll try one two three four five six seven eight or nine it'll say nine it doesn't know what it's doing let's check it works the first one is architecture second club family landscape nature this one is street youtube miscellaneous and that one got nothing so we are set up exactly like that um so there we are that is a quick way to sort out your photos give them a general one keyword and then get on with your life and get on with editing one last tip then before going is if you get in a mess with tags that uh, have the same name uh, spelled slightly differently so here I have inside nature, I have landscape and landscapes. Um, that's a problem. And maybe as I made two categories, one for nature, where I'm thinking more animals, you know, or macro and landscapes as being uh, vistas, views, as, I'd, maybe I don't want them one inside the other. So what I could do is right click and change path. And then here I will remove the nature and the pipe and save that and it's out and I can do the same with the other one in nature landscape change path and remove the nature in front so now they're out if I wanted to put them back in you can grab them um, I can grab landscape and put it in with a little plus and it goes back in but to get it out I don't know any other method than just to do that now I have landscapes with a capital L, landscape with a capital L, and I think I have a landscape with a small L. Now, I only want one. I want them all to be in the same one. So let's say just landscape, 
um, this one I want to keep. So I want to remove the S from this one. So right click, edit, remove the S and you're going to see what happens. It says at least one new tag name already exists. So aborting. So you can't change the name if the one you, that ex there's one that already exists. But there is in the Lua scripts something called rename tags, which is in the third page. Rename tags, one click to start it. And now I have a rename tag module. And now I can give the old tag land scapes with an S, land scape without an S, and go. And now in the tagging, I have three with landscape, and that's done. And the landscape for, with five photos, I want to give them a capital letter. So I go rename tag, land scape, small l, land scape, capital L, and go. And in the tags, I now have eight photos with that tag. And it is the same one written the same as the one in the quick tags. So there we are for this video. I hope it helps you to organize your uh, light table. Um, and well, from there, just carry on, go into the um, user manual, read it, make things better. But this is the way I do it. And um, well, there we are, I'm not pretending it's the best one. It is one possible way. Okay, well, with that, I will end this video and say to everyone, I'll see you all soon.